ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் சர்ணியா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் ரோஹிணி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு திஸ் வீடியோ லெக்சர் சப்ஜெக்ட் கோட் இஸ் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ டு ஃபைவ் ஒன் சப்ஜெக்ட் நேம் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் இன் சி த டாபிக் கோயிங் டு சி ஹியர் இஸ் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு ஃபங்க்ஷன் இன் சி ப்ரோக்ராமிங் வாட் இஸ் சி ஃபங்க்ஷன் A function is a group of statements that together perform a task. The functions in C programming language are basic building blocks in a program. A large C program is divided into basic building blocks called C function. It contains set of instructions that are enclosed by curly braces which performs specific operations in a C program. So the collection of these functions creates a C program. A large program in C programming language can be divided to many sub program. The sub program possesses a self contained components and have well defined purpose. This sub program is called as a function. Basically a C program contain at least one function which is main function. Next types of C functions C function can be classified into two types user defined function and library function the user defined function is main function the library function such as prend of function scan of function square root function get care functions etc standard library functions library functions in C language or inbuilt functions which are grouped together and placed in a common place called library each library function in c performs a specific operation the standard library functions are called built in functions in c programming that are used to handle the task such as mathematical computations input output processing string handling etc these functions are defined in the header file When you include the header file these functions are available for use for example the printf function it is a standard library function to send formatted output to the screen that is display output on the screen this function is defined in stdio.h header file there are four numerous library functions defined under stdio.h such as scan of function print of function get care function etc once you include stdio.h in your program all these functions are available for use next user defined functions c allow programmers to define functions such functions created by the user are called user defined functions depending upon the complexity and requirement of the program you can create as many user defined functions as you want next uses of c functions c functions are used to avoid rewriting same logic or code again and again in a program there is no limit in calling c functions to make use of same functionality wherever required you can call functions any number of times in a program and from any place in a program a large c program can easily be tracked when it is divided into functions the last use is the core concept of c functions or reusability dividing a big task into small pieces to achieve the functionality and to improve the understandability of every large c programs advantages of functions it is much easier to write a structured program where a large program can be divided into a smaller simpler task next the function allows the code to be called many times the third advantage is it is easier to read and update the fourth advantage of using c function it is easier to debug a structured program where the error is easy to find and fix next c function declaration function call and function definition there are three aspects in each c function they are 
the function declaration or prototype informs compiler about the function name function parameters and return values data type the second aspect is function call the actual function the third aspect of using c function the function definition contains all the statements to be executed so this is about the introduction to function in c programming thank you